Hey everyone, this is Swati. Welcome to Pabli. In this video, we are going to see how to automatically post new GIFs from Giphy every day on WhatsApp. So now let's say that you are a business person and you have this fitness center. So you have an existing client base and then you also have new joinees every day. What you want is to enhance your reach and show your connect with your customers. You wish to send them good morning GIFs every morning. And how would you do that? So let's say for the existing clients, you have the details on a spreadsheet and for new clients, let's say that uh, every time there is a new form submission. So you get the details from there and then taking those details, first you search for the GIF and then with that number, you send them on their WhatsApp number. So this process is okay. You can do this manually, but every day doing this is going to be troublesome and tiring and definitely boring. What if I tell you that these applications can be integrated in such a way that this entire process will get automated, which means let's say, let's say or take an example of any form builder application. So if I took uh, Pabli form builder and then I connected Pabli form builder, Giphy and WhatsApp in such a way that every time there's a new form submission, automatically a GIF would be shared with the person every day exactly at the same time and a different GIF. Now this definitely sounds interesting and saves a lot of time for you, right? How would you do that? You have to integrate them. And how would you integrate them? With the help of this amazing software, which is Pabli Connect software. It is an integration and automation software where you do not need any coding skills. You can actually integrate these three applications yourself. It won't take a lot of time. So let me take you to my screen and exactly tell you step by step how to do this. So let us now start with the process. The first thing that we have to do is we have to type the URL pabli.com slash connect. And as we click on enter, it will take us to the landing page of the software. Now here on the right hand side, you can see two tabs. One is sign in and another one is sign up for free. If you are an existing user, you can simply sign in. If you are the new user, then you have to sign up for free. Now, since I'm an existing user here, I'm going to click on sign in. We provide 100 free tasks every month in the free account of Pabli Connect. Now we are going to click on access now as we are doing this integration using Pabli Connect software. And as we do that, it has taken us to the dashboard page where on the right hand side, you can see create workflow. I'm going to click on this tab and now a dialog box appears, which is asking us to name this workflow. Now our objective is that we have to send random GIFs on WhatsApp. Now whom would I be sending these WhatsApp messages to? Either my existing clients or my new clients. So let's say that I can have my existing clients uh, data on a spreadsheet, then I'll have to connect it with Google Sheets. But here, Let's say that I want to send these messages, these GIFs to all those people who have recently started having business with me or are my new clients, which means that every time there's a new form submission, then automatically a GIF message should be shared with them, you know, welcoming them and etc. So for this, I'm going to use Pabli Form Builder application and then I'm going to connect it with Giphy and then to WhatsApp. So I'm going to name my integration as this form builder to Giphy to WhatsApp integration. Now let's click on create. As we do this, here another page appears where you can see two very important events. One is trigger and another one is action. Triggers and actions are basically those two concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger means when this happens and action means do this. Action is basically the response of trigger. Now the first application that I'm going to use here is Pabli Form Builder. And here the trigger event would be new form submission. Now, as soon as I do that, here you can see a webhook URL. Now, what do we have to do? We have to first log into our Pabli Form Builder account and uh, I'm going to show you. So this is my Form Builder account where I've already created a form regarding a fitness center registration form. Once this has been created, you have to go on the left hand side and you can see this integration menu. So you have to click on this integration and here you can see a create webhook tab let's click on this and now the webhook url that we had received here we are going to copy it and paste it here and now let's click on save so we are going to go back to public connect and we are going to come down and click on capture webhook response 
Now it is asking for the webhook response. Basically, what do we need to do? We have to do a test submission so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response. So now I'm going to go back to my account, the form that I had created. And now I'm going to fill in some random details here. So let's say the first name is dummy, last name is smart. Then I have to give a number, then an email ID. What's my objective? Lose weight or to get um, a toned body. Okay, and then my current height and weight. So let's say it is five feet, nine inches. And then the weight is 65 kgs. These are just some random figures. Let's click on submit. And now we are going to go back to Pabli Connect to check if we have received the response. And here you can see that yes, we have received the response. So now the next action step that we have to follow is we have to choose our app as Kiffy. And here it is. And comes the action event. Now here I have to send every day a random GIF. So get a random GIF. Let's click on connect. Now here I'm going to click on add new connection and Babli Connect is asking me for an API key so that I can connect with Giphy account. So here for this API key, you can click on developer dashboard. This is the hyperlink. And as we go here, you have to click on this create an app. Let's click on this create an app. And now we are going to select API and then click on next step. Here we have to give our app a name. So let's say random GIFs. This is the name of my app and app description sent GIFs daily. So just a random description, click on this box and then click on create app. So as soon as we do that here, you can see a new app has been created and this is our API key. So I'm going to copy this API key, go back to my Pabli Connect account and paste it here, then click on save. Now this means that Giphy is now connected with Pabli Connect. Now it is asking for the tag. So let's say my tag is good morning and then the rating would be general. And let's click on save and send test request. Now, as soon as we do that, see here, we have received the API response where we have received the URL of the GIF that we are supposed to share on WhatsApp. Now, again, we are going to go down and add another action step, which is going to be now WhatsApp Cloud API. Why? Because now we have to share this GIF on WhatsApp and the action event would be send a template message. Now let's click on connect and here I'm going to click on add new connection and you can see that Pabli Connect is basically asking for three things to connect itself with WhatsApp. Token, phone number ID and WhatsApp business account ID. Now for this we are going to go to Meta for developers page where on my apps you can see all the apps that I've already created. If you haven't created your app yet then you can click on this create app thing and also a video has been shared and it is there in the description box which is going to walk you through with all the process which is required to create this app. Now I'm going to click on my connect message app and as I do that on the left hand side you can see WhatsApp so you're going to click on this drop down button and click on getting started. Now here it has given us the all the necessary details basically there is access token there is phone number ID and WhatsApp business account ID. But here you have to make sure that this is only a temporary access token which is going to expire after 23 hours it is very well written here which means that if you have created your workflow with this temporary access token then your workflow will stop working after the day. So for this, you will have to create a permanent access token, which you can create on your own. And for this, a video is there in the description box, which will take you step by step through the process of creating a permanent access token. Now here, since I'm just, you know, explaining you, I'm going to click on copy here, go back to my public connect page and paste it here. Now again, I need the phone number ID. Let's copy it here copy it from here and paste it. Then I need my business account ID copied and here I have pasted it. Now click on save. So basically this means that now WhatsApp and Pabli Connect, they have got connected and now it is asking me for the template name. So here, what is a template basically? A template is a pre-written WhatsApp message. I have already created a lot of templates here. I'm going to show you as we come to this page here, you can see these are the templates that I've already created. You can create your own template by clicking on create message template. Now, as you click on this, you have to follow certain steps and the video which is there in the description box will tell you exactly how you have to do this. And here I'm going to tell you which particular template that I'm going to use. 
and here this is the template that I'm going to use it is a good morning GIF thing so I'm going to use this going back to my public connect page I have already selected this template that I'm going to use then there's a language code there's a selected template ID it has already been derived and now we have to map few information mapping means so when Giphy and Pabli Connect were connected, so it actually retrieved the information from Giphy. Similarly, when Pabli Connect was connected with Form Builder, again it got the information. So the information already that we have received in the previous steps, we are going to get that information here. For this mobile number, I'm going to go to my Pabli Form Builder step. And here, if I scroll down, this is the mobile number. Now, it is important that you have to have the number with the country code but without the plus sign. So, this is how I have my number here. Now comes the header video URL. So, for this, I'm going to map the information from Giphy and then I'm going to type original here to get the URL and this is the GIF URL. And then the body field. Basically, we need to address the person with his first name so i'm going to again go to form builder and have the first name here and now let's click on save and send test request as we do that here we have received the api response now let's check our whatsapp if we have received the response and yes here you can see that we have received the response it is there on the screenshot which i have presented to you now which means that form builder and then Giphy and then WhatsApp. These three applications have got integrated in such a way that the entire process has been automated. Now let us do this in real time. How would we do that? I'm going to go back to my form submission and here I'm going to open a new form. So let's give it a new name. So let's say demo dummy. This is the name and the last name is last. Then let's give it a number, email address, so let's say the email address is this your objective lose weight and then current height and weight so let's say 5 10 then my weight is let's say 80 kgs i'm going to click on submit now as soon as i have clicked on the submit button i should receive a message on whatsapp and here you can see hi demo dummy and a message a good morning message a random good morning message has been shared it is exactly not as the one that we have seen before why because we had selected get random gifs which means every time there should be a new gif and that is it i'm going to take you back to my public connect page and let's understand the process once again so what did we do here we had first chosen our first application which was form builder here we had chosen our trigger event as new form submission once this was connected then the second step was integrating the same with giphy so giphy was our application where we had selected get a random gif and the last action was whatsapp cloud api was our app where we had selected the action event as send template message if in case you have any doubt then you can refer to the workflow of this entire process which is there in the description box also you can clone that workflow and start to process again apart from this if you have any other doubt you can always write to us